Let's get barrel strength. Welcome back to Brolic Whiskey. I'm MetaHuman Dave. I'm Mike, for now. <laughs> Today we're getting a little stronger. Getting serious. We're doing the uncut limited bottling of Bullet Bourbon. This is their barrel strength. We are doing batch number two, gotcha. which was bottled at 62.7%. Mike, what this means is it comes straight out of the cask, undiluted. Um, it can vary batch to batch between 120 to 125 proof. Jesus. You're lucky. We're, we hit a little higher. I'm, I'm lucky. I'm we, hoping we, to make it through. We hit one. a little higher on this one. So bullet bourbon barrel strength. Batch number two, sixty-two point seven percent. Try to Ooh. try to be nice and not pour too heavy. Now you will notice pretty dark color on this one. It's a beautiful color. So this is a straight bourbon, which means that legally that means it's at least fifty-one percent corn and been aged at least two years. Oh, they wow. don't have an exact age because they they say they like to check it. You know, they will release it when they feel it's ready. So, but well, we know it's at least two years. That's a sweet little, little corn, yeah. right? Even through all that alcohol burn, yeah. which for sure you get, if, especially if you bring that glass too close. It's a, it's a little bit of alcohol, but yeah, no, the corn and, and caramel and cream and vanilla a little bit. Yes, vanilla. So this is it's almost like a dessert. The mash bill on this one is sixty-eight percent corn, twenty-eight percent rye, and they only have four percent malted barley on it. Really? Yeah. I would think the malt would make it so give that creaminess, but it's not. we're getting probably more of the corn on this one. But 28% rye, you can expect a little bit of that rye bite to hit you. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> this is by far uh, the strongest whiskey that he has had thus far, uh, <laughs> as you can tell from from, from his facial expressions. Wow. He's not used to this, this one. All 62.7% is there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Let's man up it, here, right? It definitely smells sweet, though. That's what's funny. Oh, it smells sweet. It fantastic. hides. It hides that alcohol on the nose. But I don't know what it tastes like because I haven't had it in a long time. So, Mike, take over. Oh, that alcohol is absolutely there. Um, She's hot. She's a hot one. And it's, you definitely it lasts, get the ride. It lasts. Is that what that is? It's it's weird for me. It kind of like flip flops. I get. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. Oh wait, there's the corn. Oh there's the rye. Oh there's the corn. Like you go sweet, spicy, sweet, spicy. Like it goes back and forth. It's like it's fighting itself <laughs> on my tongue. I get a tiny bit of sweet and a lot of punch to the face, and it's a long punch. Oh yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's still duration. burning yeah. right now. It's. But it's it's not, almost like this is like a, a really like spicy in the the hot pepper spiciness because yeah. of how much it it stays and it it's hot. But it, it's not that ugly burn. No. It's not. Um, there, there, this is a nice alcohol burn. There's there's some that just kind of make you nauseous a little yeah. bit sick. This isn't it. Uh, this is this man. That's a punch. It, to the it face. takes. It wow. makes you respect it. Yeah. It's letting you know, hey, I'm here. Pay attention to me. I'm gonna be nice, but respect me. It, it's strong. It's sweet. It stays with you. It's got a long finish. Okay, on the back end, but I put it on the back of my throat this time around, and I got a little bit of caramel in it. But that alcohol just overpowers me. It's too much for me. That is that is a big punch. If you like lots of alcohol, if you like that high alcohol content. This is probably before, for you because it's not hard to drink. Um, that's a little too much for me. I'm keeping mine somewhere around probably the four, four and a half range. Ooh. I'm gonna say four and a half because it's not it's not intolerable. It, it's it's definitely drinkable. If you like high alcohol content booze, that's the one for you. You went way lower than I'm going. This is a, a six eight for me. Like it's it's really? good, but I'm probably not gonna reach towards it because it, it is a little too much. It's a little too strong. I'm actually diluting it a little more than we normally would. The only reason I'm doing that is because of the high proof that's on this. 
I'm, I might be wrong on this. I didn't really do the research, but I think the regular bullet bourbon is either 40 or 43 percent. So it's normally a much lower alcohol percentage than this barrel proof. The barrel proof is not available everywhere. I know you can get it straight in Kentucky, but um, California is one of the few states that I know you can get it from. If your state doesn't carry it, though, surprisingly, High Time Wine. Dot net. That's the website I bought mine from. They do ship to all states that it's legally allowable for them to ship to, so you can buy it from High Time Wine. Um, I will tell you this. I bought this by mistake. I did not intend to purchase this one. I bought this last year, and it was supposed to be because I've always been into scotches and whiskeys, and I never really had many bourbons yet. So I was like, you know what? Let me buy a bottle of Bullet. I heard good things. See what it's like. And it was cheap. The bottle I paid is way less than it should have been. I don't know if it was an error on their website or if they were just running a super sale. I got this for 26 bucks. That's a lot for 26 bucks. That's it's supposed to be $60 retail. Wow. $60. So I don't know if it was an error or if it was just on sale. But I thought it was the regular one until it was shipped to my house. And I noticed, like, hey, that's not an orange label. That's black. Maybe That's they, when I realized. Maybe they just have to ship the wrong one. I'll tell you what. This this on on the nose, um, smelling it, it smells a lot like like a caramel coffee type drink, like an iced coffee with caramel drink. That's what I got from it. It, it I love it on the nose. I love it. Um, I'm not getting caramel. I'm getting vanilla. Really? Vanilla notes. Because it gave me that that reminder of a, a sweet iced coffee. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking like it's French vanilla iced coffee. Now that you mentioned coffee, I, yeah. I might not. Might not have picked it up at first, but yeah, I see French vanilla iced coffee. It smells beautiful. It does. Did you try um, it? I tried it. Uh oh, Ooh. still strong. It's still strong. Um, it. I pick up a lot of uh, some kind of like a mint or a menthol type flavor in it. Um, real, real strong. The alcohol just is still overpowering on the back end. You get a quick flavor, and then boom, straight into alcohol, and it hurts me. Mike's growing up right before our eyes. He's picking up all the things he should be picking up because that menthol-y feeling, I'm, I'm going to assume, is mm -hmm. part of what you're getting off of the rye. You do get a little bit of that cooling sen menthol-like yes. sensation right at the mid-level, right? Yes. Is that where, where you seem to get it? Yes. I get a little sweet on the front, a little cooling sensation in the middle. I got to say, it's way more palatable diluted than it is neat because you don't get as strong of the alcohol burn, at least for me. It's not... It's not burning as much. Yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, counter that. I think it's better neat. I think the alcohol burn, diluted, is not as enjoyable as it is neat. I think it's a different. It's it's more that that kind of nauseous, kind of sickening alcohol burn to me. Really? Yeah. I think neat. It was it was a little more pleasurable. It For me, a lot of the heat went away. I want you to try mine. See if because I might have just given us different dilutions. Um, I'm not getting yeah. the alcohol burn anymore. Smell it. Yeah. I we, think mine's ours, more Ours smells different. Yeah. yeah, it's funny. Just the difference in how many drops I put in both of our glasses. His does smell a little more like caramel, while mine smelled more like vanilla. Um, I would agree with you now. <laughs> Try it. it it's, it's different. Um, somehow the, the dilution's a little bit different. I don't know if I got more or less water, but I think neat is more palatable on that one. That's yours, so strange. I think, I think yours tastes better. Mine definitely tastes better. I'm, if I had to score his, I'm dropping it to like a three. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know what? From what I've had, it's still fine. I don't think I'm changing the score. So four? It's a four, four and a half. Probably okay. a closer to four and a half. Okay. Um, yeah, it's still, I think it's the same. It's just which way you want to swing on it. I don't really see enough of a difference to change my score. For me, I like mine Diluted for the first time. <laughs> okay. um, my version, his, I might have given him less drops. I will actually bump this up to a seven. That's a good bump. I like this better than I did. That's that's a drop kick. So that's a big bump. Um, while I pour, the next one's going to be on ice. So actually, I should throw the ice in there first. So kind of a cool story on this on the bullet name too. So Tom Bullet. Or Boule, however he pronounces it. We call it Bullet Bourbon, so I'm going to call him Tom Bullet. He was a successful lawyer in a successful law firm. But his great, 
great grandfather, Augustus Bullet, used to make a family run business of bourbon um, all the way back in like, the mid 1800s. Between 1830 and 1860, Augustus was the distiller of, of Bullet Bourbon. Well, Augustus was transporting barrels between Kentucky and New Orleans in 1860. Vanished. Completely vanished. No one knows what happened to the guy. They've never heard, seen anything from him ever again. Just gone. He died happy. That's what he did. So, um, in 1987, Tom left his law firm and started up Bullet Bourbon again. Using the same family-owned recipe that Augustus made. The high rye content, content and everything. So, again, 68 corn, 28 rye. And, um, keeping the family tradition alive with this one. Alright, so with ice, um, it, it, adding the ice again, brought back the fruity flavors. Uh, I, I'm getting a lot of, of, a, of a red apple or, or pear. Kind of a muted, muted piece of fruit. Uh, a little bit on the sweet side. Again, on the nose, fantastic. Flavor-wise, it took everything down. I get zero flavor, very little alcohol burn. It almost hit the mute button on volume. Huh. Yeah. All right. Anything. So this is a non-chill filtered. Um, so that's why you see a little bit of haziness now that we added ice. But when I always told you that I typically lean towards ice on bourbon, yeah. it was when I actually had the regular bullet bourbon. Okay. I hated it neat. I didn't like it at all. And then I tried it on ice, and I'm like, oh my god, now I understand why people like this. I won't go at the same distance that I did with the other one. Um, it doesn't do the same things that the traditional orange label does with ice. I agree with Mike. Brings out some of those apple notes. Yeah, it smells wonderful. It, it's, it's definitely got some unique smells compared to what you would have thought it was when it was neat. But... Um, I don't hate it on ice. No, it's not. Um, I, it. I don't say it's muted. I do get some flavors. I don't get much. Um, I'm, mine's a lot of, uh, again, a lot of alcohol burn, and that's about it. You get alcohol. Yes. I get no no alcohol at all. Yes. And that's, so, again, difference of opinion. Mm -hmm. But if I was giving someone who's brand new to whiskey, and this is all I had for some reason, everything else is off my shelves. If I was giving a newbie... A whiskey, I would serve it to them on ice. Yeah. I think this is the best way for a newbie to try it. Um, although personally, I did enjoy this one diluted. Yeah, no, I, 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 I would drop this down. I'd, I'd take this down probably to the three five range. Uh, it, it's not undrinkable. I just see very little enjoyment value. See, I'm not getting alcohol burn. I'm smelling apple, but I'm tasting more yeah. of citrusy notes. I, I think it's a respectable whiskey in the, for people that want a cold drink. I'll give it a five. It's not horrible. It's just not for me. Um, it's I, decent. I guess I'm saying at the right price, buy it. At the right price, yeah. buy it. I, I probably wouldn't buy this again at 60 bucks. Um, would I buy it at 25 I, 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 I probably would. I think that's an easy one. I think I probably would. Yeah, I think that's an easy one. Um, the problem is, though, Mike... We can both go to Costco right now. Okay. Get a 1.75 of the orange label for 30 bucks. That's where I'm leaning. I would probably go with orange label and just get a lot more whiskey out of from getting it from Costco. And I probably would miss out on this one, just because Costco is still selling the 1.75 bullet. And okay, some people like that big alcohol. No. Uh, the one thing I do know, the reason why the color is so dark, it's a number four char in the barrel. The the barrel heads are on number two char. We know it's aged two years at least, so it's pretty dark. For it's but we pretty. just don't know. Maybe it's aged six years. No one knows. They it's won't tell us. It's a pretty color. It's a beautiful color. It smells fantastic. I for me, it's just a lot of punch to the face. So, kind of hurts the uh, enjoyment of it. I got you. I can understand. This one is right. definitely harsher for most people. But, both of us seem to lean towards scotch anyway. So, gotcha. bourbon, 
This is a little harsher for our palates. But we want to hear from you guys. Have you had the opportunity to try the barrel strength bullet? And what's your opinion of it? Make sure you leave us a comment in the section below. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, our podcast. Anywhere that you want to listen to more whiskey information, hit us up. Leave comments. Hit the subscribe button because we still want to hit that 100 subscribers so we can break open our infinity bottle. <laughs> we might possibly be the best whiskey channel that's begging for your subscription. <laughs> no, we are the best channel begging for your subscription flat out.